Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about everyone's favorite walking carpet. No, not that walking carpet. I'm talking about this walking carpet and his role in episode 9. Chewbacca has been a fan favorite ever since he was introduced in 1977, so it only seems fitting that he should cl help close out the Skywalker saga. As with any other character in Star Wars, we're going to be discussing a few questions as to what Chewie is going to be doing for the plot, whether or not he's going to see any character development, how he's going to feel seeing Lando again, and finally, the most important and probably most difficult question to ask about any original trilogy character, is he going to survive? All right, so first question about Chewbacca. What role is he going to play in the plot of episode nine? Um, I have to say I'm a little bit stumped. I hope he doesn't get relegated to the same role he had in episode eight, where he was just a side character that popped up once in a while. Um, I hope he plays a much bigger role in the story. He has something to contribute. Um, I'm not sure what that would be. It looks like at this point he's just going to stay the co-pilot of the Millennium Falcon and maybe part-time bodyguard for Finn, Rey, possibly Poe. Maybe even Lando, who knows. Second question, is he going to see any character development? The character of Chewie, um, since he was based on George Lucas's dog, I don't really know that Chewie has seen or needed all that much character development. He's already an amazing character. He's uh, served as sort of like Han Solo's conscience and a bodyguard and a security blanket and he's just there to help protect our heroes and be there when he needs them. Third question, how is he going to feel seeing Lando again? Well, as we all know, Chewie held quite a grudge against Lando for his actions in betraying Han Solo in The Empire Strikes Back and, of course, tried to strangle him to death. But it seems that by the end of Return of the Jedi, all is forgiven because during the celebration scene, we see Chewie wrapping Lando in one of his great big Wookiee embraces. So, how's he going to feel seeing Lando again? I don't know. I can't imagine uh, Chewie is going to be welcoming Lando with open arms. But if, say, Leia orders Chewie to seek out Lando for his help, or something along those lines, I know he'll do um, pretty much anything to make Leia happy, because I think since Leia married Han, she's encompassed in the life debt that Chewie had. But I'm, I'm not really sure, don't quote me on that. So are we going to see Chewie sort of griping at Lando a little bit? Is he going to just barely tolerate him? Or are they going to be all buddy-buddy? I can't say it. I can't. I'm not really sure about that. And at last, the fourth and final question, probably the most difficult one to ask of this, is he going to survive? Now, I will say this before I go any farther. After reading the Star Wars novel Vector Prime, which was set... Oh goodness, maybe a year after the Young Jedi Knights series that followed the Solo and Skywalker families during at, uh, at the beginning of what was called the Yuzong Vong War and the old expanded universe was now known as Legends. In the book Vector Prime, spoiler alert, they killed Chewie. Not an original trilogy main character, but Chewie. Ah, uh, and afterward Han turned into a raving, uh, he turned into an alcoholic. Uh, so, and the series from there, it just went downhill from there. I have to say, after Vector Prime, I stopped reading the Legends books. After that, they left my headcanon, and yeah. <laughs> after Young Jedi Knights, the Legends are dead to me because of Vector Prime. So, <laughs> uh, that'll tell you how I feel about Chewie. Chewie, as far as we know, is still in his prime. If they killed Chewie, oh my gosh, I think that would hurt worse than losing Han because even though losing Han was definitely a very difficult blow, losing Chewie, I mean, Chewie, ugh, if I think about it too much, I'll cry. Losing Chewie would probably tear the hearts out of everybody who's ever loved him. Oh my goodness, I... I really hope not. I hope, 
I really, really hope that Chewbacca survives. Because technically, even though the Skywalker saga is coming to an end, Chewie is not a Skywalker, okay? Um, it, and besides, it's called The Rise of Skywalker anyway, so it's like, uh, Chewie, there's no reason for Chewie to die. Uh, we've lost enough characters to show us that this war is serious, some serious stuff is going down, that uh, the First Order is extremely dangerous, that Ben Solo is a cold-hearted uh, blankety-blank. So, yeah, we don't need to lose Chewie on top of it, okay? Just keep Chewie alive. Please. I beg you. Chewbacca must live. So there you go, guys. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more G-rated Star Wars content, go ahead and click that little subscription button down below and join the Clumsy Crew. Don't forget to check out the links in the description box. I will be bringing you lots more Episode 9 character speculation throughout the next uh, month, I think. So, question of the day. What do you think Chewbacca's role in Episode 9 is going to be, and do you think he's going to survive the saga. Go ahead and post a comment. As always, anything profane or unkind will be deleted swiftly. So I'll see everybody again on Wednesday, and until then, God bless, and may the Force be with you. Bye!